there is an appreciation for us coming in person and a lot of interest in the topic itself. So I'm very That's excited really about that. That's really good. And the feedback that I'm getting in general is that they're really pleased that technical people are coming because, you know, that's going to actually help push a lot of that progress that needs to happen. It's also, I think, a real sign of solidarity and a sign that we can understand that it isn't easy for them to come to us. energy sector is all about is another front line in this war and this is really a huge challenge for us this is a part of missile which hit uh, one of uh, thermal power plant in ukraine and uh, destroyed everything I, I see two things. The first one is really trying to see how we can drive the, the sharing of the Ukrainian experiences to our member countries uh, and really highlighting the, the things that they're doing here and what that means for the rest of the world. But also the, the perspective of how can we support that capacity development. That perspective of Ukraine, of a system that is being actively targeted by terrorist actions, the ability to have a real-time understanding of the situation of every element of the power grid is extremely important. Perspective, you know, it's all very well having these meetings and talking about policies, but this is an existential, you know, issue for them. It's all about survival. And so even when you're talking about something as specific, and, you know, jargon-filled and technical as decentralization of grid infrastructure. It's a way to survive, it's a way to move away from, you know, Russian aggression, Russian influence, and to have energy security. 